All right, you may think Joe Biden's border crisis cannot get any worse. Think again. It turns out the Department of Homeland Security is aware of a human smuggling operation that has gotten about 400 people into the U.S., obviously illegally and unvetted. And guess what? One of the smugglers running the operation, allegedly now, they believe has ties to ISIS. Yes, you heard me correctly. ISIS, the terror organization that's convert or die ISIS. And while the agency is desperately trying to track down any potential terrorists that might be among the 400, at least 50 are still at large and could be anywhere around the country. What about the other 200? They only caught 150 of them. This is the same smuggling operation that is responsible for bringing in the eight men from Tajikistan. Uh, who were reportedly planning a terrorist attack on our homeland. Here with reaction, senior fellow at the Hoover Institute, uh, Victor Davis Hansen, Fox News contributor Sarah Carter. Let's get the full report, Sarah, first, then we'll get commentary from Victor. Yeah, Sean, it appears that our government is gaslighting the American people when it acts like they are struggling to find where these 50 have disappeared from, these 50 uh, so-called illegal aliens that are linked to terrorists, this ISIS smuggling group, because our government is known from the beginning, Sean, has known from the beginning when Biden first took office and basically overran and, and removed all of President Trump's executive orders on the border, the potential threat that existed at the southern border. And this is very serious. I spoke to intelligence sources today. I spoke to people within the military and people overseas that are saying there is increased chatter across the globe, that this is the reason why the FBI right now in the United States has such a heightened alert. And they have known this for some time. There is no one to blame for this crisis right now but the Biden administration. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, there is concern right now that the 50 that are missing are linked directly to terrorist organizations with throughout the globe linked to ISIS. So there is a struggle now to find them. And Mayorkas's recent statement that uh, everything is fine is also another gaslighting attempt because Mayorkas understands that it was his policy and Biden's that allowed all these people to come into the country. You know, Victor Davis Hanson, it is not complicated. This is simple, basic, fundamental common sense, and it's not political. This is about the safety and security of every American. That would mean Democrat. That would mean Republican. That would mean liberal. That would mean conservative. But when you have over, people from over 180 countries and people coming from Iran and Syria and Egypt and Afghanistan, tens and tens of thousands, nearly 60,000 in 18 months from China and Russia and others from Venezuela, um, why would we expect any less? And you have 11 million total unvetted Joe Biden illegal immigrants. This, this is a national security disaster in the making. Why would they expect anything other than this report? Well, they have a different agenda, Sean. Their agenda is to let as many people into the United States as quickly as possible as their legacy. Mm -hmm. And they look at the murders of these wonderful people, these citizens, beautiful mother of five or teenage girl, or the entrance of terrorists. That pales in comparison with that agenda. That's just collateral damage. Why don't they tell the Mexican government, these people are coming from all over the world. Many of them are flying into Mexico City. Can't you have rudimentary... Uh, background or what do they think people are flying into the Mexico City airport? What was the purpose of that? And, you know, there's something about their, their inability to say something about radical Islam. We saw that with the Israeli Gaza tragedy, and they pressured Israel more than Hamas. But th the only thing that seems to excite Mr. Mayork is if there's a false rumor that a Border Patrol agents are whipping Haitian immigrants, which was totally false, but really animated him and Biden in a way that these terrorists or these deaths of American citizens don't. And, you know, today, Wednesday, we had a press conference, Sean, with uh, Secretary of State Blinken and our Obama-era State Department point person on religious liberty, Mr. Hussein. And you would think, with all of the stuff that has happened in Los Angeles, when there are actually, there is no li religious liberty in the United States, they're attacking a synagogue, what, what did they talk about? They talked about Islamic phobia. They talked about everything except anti-Semitism and the attack on religious liberty in their own country. So they have a blind spot 
uh, on certain issues. One is the border is taboo, you don't mention it. Another one is the Middle East, they will not talk about it. Uh, and they're much more critical of our own border patrol or indifference to people in America who are suffering than they are about this open but, uh, border. I'm, so you, you're basically saying that they're willing to sacrifice the lives of Americans. You, you mentioned, you know, we have a, a young girl in a Queens, New York park raped in broad daylight mm -hmm. and videotaped. Uh, we have this young girl in Houston, thir you know, 13 years old. I had her mother and grandfather on last night. I mean, th with all her might, this 12-year-old little girl fought back, was was ravaged for two hours and, and then slaughtered. You have Rachel Morin, the mother of five. You have Blake and Riley. And I scroll the names. You're saying that they don't care? How is—I mean, where is your heart, your it's conscience, not that they don't your care, soul is that if you they, don't care? This is their Paul. They, this they, is their they do two things, Sean. They say, yeah, they yeah, say Victor, that go ahead. most migrants don't do that. They, they say most immigrants don't do this or the crime rates lower. They don't have any data because they don't know who's here and they don't know how many. So that's a false argument. But the, the other thing that they do is they don't understand that these people are guests. When you have somebody come into your house and they trash the house, you expect better of them. These people... We don't want anybody to commit a crime that comes in the United States. They're guests, and they're unwanted guests. So any one incident should shock them and say, my God, they came in without an invitation, they broke their law, and they're no. doing these bad things. And we don't care about the percentages. It should be zero Let tolerance. But they, 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 fall, they keep f citing this false data that, oh, it's well. no worse than anybody else, therefore we'll open the border. I thought every life mattered. Sarah Carter, you get the last word. Look, Sean, I covered the war in Afghanistan for years. I spent a lot of time on the war zone, and President Biden left behind billions of dollars in military equipment. He's armed these terrorist organizations overseas, and now he's opened our border and put every American life at risk. That is the facts. We see it before our eyes. And unless something changes come November, it's going to be far worse. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.